Welcome to the Mental Health and You podcast. This podcast brings you information and advice from across the Norfolk and Suffolk NHS Foundation Trust, with a range of teams, services and those who use them, sharing their experiences and wisdom with us every fortnight. Hello and welcome to our podcast from the Recovery College. My name is Danny, I'm the partnership lead for the Recovery College. And this morning, I'd like to talk to you about our new timetable. Um, we'll also talk briefly about what the Recovery College is, a little bit on the recovery model, perhaps why you might want to enrol on our courses, what you might get out of them, how to sign up, and then just give you a quick overview of any new courses that we have as well. So in regards to the timetable, we bring them out three times a year um, in terms, and they run for about three and a half months. So currently, um, Today is August when I'm recording this, 1st of August. We're now tailing off of our um, summer courses. We have two weeks off and then we'll start to gain early September for all of our courses then, which will run roughly to the middle of um, December. So just to give you a quick view about uh, overview of the Recovery College itself. So we've been part of um, NSFT, Norfolk and Suffolk NHS Foundation Trust, for over 10 years now. We work to provide educational courses on the recovery model which aim to help people develop their own tools and skills and strategies to be able to manage their well-being and mental health better. So the idea is to kind of give you tools to hopefully equip you to be more of an expert in your own self-care. Um, and then the recovery model itself is very much around people developing meaning and purpose in order to have something to look forward to, something to, to get out of bed for during the day, something to work towards. So it doesn't necessarily focus on the absence of uh, mental health symptoms. Fair enough, if that happens, great. Equally, sometimes that doesn't always happen. Um, and the idea around this is that the recovery college very much sits alongside or can complement any kind of form of mental health treatment that you might be receiving, but it isn't intended to replace that. It's very much intended to work alongside um, for people to be able to develop their own tools and strategies. Um, so that's the recovery college, a little bit about it and the recovery model. The other thing just to say is all of our courses are co-developed and co-delivered with our peers who have their own experience in mental health challenges and they will then deliver those courses alongside um, an NHS clinician who could be someone, for example, could be a nurse, a therapist, social worker, etc., who has their own experience of working alongside people who have experienced mental health challenges. And then together, they co-deliver the courses throughout the Recovery College. So why might you want to enrol on the courses? It's perhaps a very good question. So you might want to enrol um, for yourself, maybe to learn more about specific mental health conditions. It could be more to hear from others' experiences around mental health. You may be experiencing something similar or may have gone through similar experiences you might want to sort of share ideas learn from each other share your own experiences and give insight into how perhaps it impacted you um, you might be able to share yourself what you've found helpful what you've been able to implement that may in turn help other people within the um, course itself you may for example be caring for someone else who's experiencing mental health challenges and you may wish to come along a to learn um, perhaps more about what they might be experiencing, but equally and very importantly, obviously carers themselves need support and we have courses that may help carers, um, so that's another reason to come along. You might be a um, perhaps working in a different organisation outside of NSFT, but you wish to come along to learn more about mental health there. You may be part of NSFT, you may be a member of staff who perhaps comes along for their own wellbeing, or equally you might want to come along on some of our courses just to kind of learn more about different topics or again or equally hear from people sharing their lived experience around all of our different courses so there's quite a lot of different um, reasons to attend um, in regards to um, how to sign up this is quite streamlined now so essentially you can go on our website um, or you can call to phone us up or you can email us um, sign up there then one of our administrators will in turn contact you um, and, and then you can um, book on for courses and booking on for courses is quite straightforward you can ask to be booked on for courses or equally we now have a self booking portal and um, which makes it quite sim simple and then you can obviously see which courses are available and then book on yourself 
So just as a quick overview of our courses um, in our newer timetable, I'll start from there. So we have different varieties of courses. Most of what we deliver is online, but not all of it. We still have some face-to-face -face courses around the kind of main areas of Norfolk and Suffolk. Um, and what we deliver online is split into two different categories. So we have webinars and we have Zoom courses. So the webinars tend to be shorter, usually, and they are designed where you can see the tutors delivering the session on video and sound, but they can't see you. Um, so they're quite good for perhaps people who a may not have a, a webcam full stop, who perhaps uh, um, don't want to, don't wish to be on camera, who might be a bit anxious or perhaps just 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 want to sort of try out the first time. They can be really good for that. Our webinars are still designed to be fairly interactive, in that the tutors de uh, delivering the webinar may ask questions. And if you're on a webinar, you have the opportunity to answer those questions in the chat or share your sort of insights or experiences around a specific topic in the webinar. So although they're kind of one way in that, again, you can see the tutors, they can't see you. We still do our best to make the, the webinars interactive. And then the other method of delivery, like I mentioned, are Zoom courses where we have smaller numbers of people um, and that's where people can use their webcam and microphone should they wish to. Um, it's important to, to note that we don't kind of mandate that, that you have to have your webcam on. We might encourage it, but equally we understand that some people might wish to come along and have their webcam off, particularly for the first session if they're feeling anxious or don't wish to be on film. Again, you have the option of using the chat function if perhaps you don't wish to speak on the microphone as well. But the Zoom sessions usually tend to be a bit longer. Um, and like I say, they're, they're limited numbers and you have the option of using your um, camera and microphone. And then lastly, we have the face-to-face -face courses which run in the kind of main areas of Norfolk and Suffolk. Um, and they're kind of classroom-based courses, but still follow the same, same principles as the courses on Zoom. And, and, and the content is essentially the same, maybe slightly adapted for a face-to-face -face delivery rather than an a online delivery. Um, so... Coming on to our timetable, our noon timetable for September onwards. So what we have on there is firstly our reasonably new um, Discovery College. So Discovery College is kind of a subsection of the regular Recovery College. And Discovery College is specifically aimed at those who are 16 to 25 years old. So all of the courses have either been uh, specifically designed to be more relevant and sort of appropriate for that age group, or we've taken our existing courses and adapted them slightly to still be more relevant to that age group. So with the Discovery College, we have courses around understanding and managing anxiety. We have an initial welcome to the Discovery College as well, just to give you an overview of what the Discovery College is. Um, we also have a course on understanding and exploring identity. And then we go on to our regular recovery college. So our regular recovery college um, is also open to anyone who's 16 and above who lives in Norfolk and Suffolk. So when I mentioned earlier around the Discovery College, people people from that age group can access the Recovery College, just not the other way round. I hope that makes sense. With our regular Recovery College, we split this into four tiers, which are beginning, building, understanding and growing. And the idea for splitting that in those four tiers is it helps to perhaps give a place where people might wish to start. Usually we recommend that people start on the beginning courses, particularly if people are quite new to recovery college, recovery college and the recovery model itself. Again, we don't force that, so there might be a course perhaps further through the timetable which you really like the look of. And if you really think for you that is the best place to start, then that, then that's absolutely fine. It's just more of a, of a recommendation that we make that people start on the beginning courses. So in regards to the beginning courses, they're very much around more developing an understanding of the recovery model and around general well-being. So, for example, we have the Welcome to Recovery College webinar. We also have a, a, another webinar, which is just an hour long, which is on the CHIME model. So those that are unfamiliar with the CHIME model, this is a, an acronym which stands for Connections, Hope, Identity, Meaning and Empowerment. And that's an evidence-based framework 
which we use to inform many of our courses. So this one hour webinar is a really good introduction to the, 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 the Chime framework and it goes through each one in turn to kind of explain and give you more of, a, of an overview of how those five elements of Chime can help you in your personal recovery. Also in the beginning courses we have a what is recovery so that's kind of goes into a bit more depth um, and, it, and that's a Zoom session as well rather than a webinar. So the Zoom session goes into a bit more depth around recovery and offers more of an opportunity to explore personal recovery and kind of share that in a smaller group environment. We have a couple of um, reasonably new courses. So one of those is um, the first steps to building confidence. And that course itself is basically around, we, we introduce what confidence is, how it can help to improve your own recovery look at perhaps some of the causes and, and effects of low self-confidence and some of the barriers and look at things that may help you to build up um, your own confidence and relate that to kind of building emotional readiness and growing more resilience for perhaps when things don't go as planned. So that's a reasonably new um, session that we have on our um, timetable and that's delivered as a Zoom session. Another reasonably new course we have on our timetable, this time was a webinar is first steps to overcoming shame um, so the shame course is essentially for anyone that may may want to start looking to overcome any feelings of shame or guilt uh, that may be causing sort of barriers to their own recovery um, it's a fairly gentle introduction to the course it looks at things that might be difficult and then looks at ways to perhaps manage these difficulties um, to hopefully help people move on in their own recovery very much around sort of an understanding and compassion around shame so there are uh, two newer courses and it, there's lots of other ones on the beginning timetable as well. Then we move on to the courses I mentioned which are our building courses. So this might be slightly longer or might be slightly more specific around mental health. So for example we have the, the Five Ways to Wellbeing webinar which is perhaps familiar with a lot of people. It explores the five concepts around how trying to kind of implement some of these actions from the five ways to well-being perhaps every day or perhaps it could be weekly however is it is is kind of convenient for you but how looking at the five ways to well-being and using actions from them can very much help your personal recovery we have um, an exploring emotions a webinar as, as, as well so it looks at again understanding of being able to perhaps manage our emotions better and um, we have a, a zoom session um, on understanding physical health, which is designed to be a fairly kind of gentle introduction to looking at ways that we can perhaps maintain and improve our own physical health, which is of course very much linked to our mental health. We have a course on setting goals for recovery, which is very important. It comes back to, um, if you think about the, the recovery model itself, I mentioned earlier around having meaning and purpose, and it is really good evidence to show that developing goals, identifying them, realistic goals, setting those and working towards them can be really useful for not just meaning and purpose but our recovery overall. We have a four week course or a four session course sometimes um, on wellness planning which is very much around developing a plan and implementing that plan to help maintain your mental health so it can look at perhaps any triggers that you might be experiencing around certain events or dates and you can develop a, a plan to help manage those triggers better. It also looks at perhaps if you had a bit of a dip in your mental health, how you can develop a plan in advance of things that you might use to kind of pull you out of that dip. Um, and, and, and the wellness planning course, I also call a bit of a jack of an all trades course, really jack of all trades, because it does cover lots and lots of different um, areas around maintaining your mental health. So that can be quite a useful course to go on, which is, again, a full session course. Um, then we come on to the understanding courses. So these ones might be, uh, again, even more specific or slightly longer. Um, so one of the courses we have there is an introduction to peer support working. So that gives you an overview of, 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 of essentially what is a peer support worker, what is the role, what might it, might, might it look to work as a peer support worker. Uh, so that's a three-week course that we have on. Another course that we have, which has always been fairly popular, is our ACT on Life course. ACT standing for Acceptance and Commitment Therapy. So that looks very much around, so it isn't therapy itself, but it looks at a lot of the tools and strategies that might be used in Acceptance and Commitment Therapy. We offer that in a four-week Zoom 
course and we also offer it as a one session webinar which gives more of an overview first. Other courses we have on the understanding category are around um, anxiety. We have a, a, a two week, two session course on eating for wellness. So looking at how what we eat and nutrition can impact our mental health and vice versa. Um, we also have a four week course on how to tell your story. So that looks at perhaps looking at um, you and, and your past and trying to make sense of perhaps anything that's happened to you and then looking to put that down in words or pictures or any other medium that you find useful to try and kind of make perhaps make sense of what's happened to you and then start to kind of rebuild yourself on your recovery journey and very much looking at yourself as kind of the hero of your own story and that can be really really useful especially to sort of put things into perspective perhaps. Um, we have another course which is Emotional Health for Men, that's a two week course and it's very much around the fact that often men don't perhaps talk about their, their, their feelings, what they're going through or, or they feel like perhaps they have to kind of keep quiet about a lot of things which in turn can impact um, their own mental health and emotional well-being. So this, this is a course um, exploring sort of men's issues with men and in, again looking at the, the strategies and things that may be helpful in their own recovery to, to, to ultimately kind of help men's emotional health. Uh, then we have kind of more perhaps um, condition specific courses. So we have courses around um, bipolar. We have another course around understanding personality disorder, a one-off webinar, which is around understanding um, psychosis. We have a reasonably new webinar as well um, on ADHD. Um, and then we move on to the, the growing courses. So this is kind of tier four um, of all of our courses. So again, um, we don't always recommend people start here, but equally, if there is a course on here that, 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 that someone really likes the look of and, and, and you feel like you're in the right place to start here, then it can be useful. Just as a slight caveat, on, on, on this um, tier, we have, for example, a course on post-traumatic growth. We wouldn't necessarily recommend you start with that because if you're not in the right place to discuss things around post-traumatic growth, perhaps haven't done some of the earlier courses, it may be quite difficult. Um, so it's worth just perhaps mentioning that. So some of the growing courses are around, so we have a reasonably new one again on moving on from services. So perhaps if you've been discharged, discharged from services and you might be thinking what's next in your recovery journey, that can be a really useful webinar. Um, we have then a four week course on ADHD, living well with ADHD. We then also have a five week course on understanding autism. We have the Zoom session, as I mentioned, on, on post-traumatic growth. We have a uh, four-week course on safety planning, um, one on identity. We have a three-week course on self-compassion and recovery. So there's lots and lots and lots of different courses that we do have. Um, and I appreciate um, that some of those might, the choice of those courses might be quite overwhelming. And you might be thinking, well, that might, might sound useful, but equally I have no, no, no idea where to start because there's so many courses. So what might be really useful is to book onto one of our learning support calls that we offer. So that's essentially up to 30 minutes with one of our tutors and you have the opportunity to speak to them and talk through perhaps what you might be experiencing in a moment and then we can then look at the timetable and provide you additional information about the courses, explain what they entail um, and then hopefully together you can come up with a decision around any of the courses that you might wish to book on. But the idea being that you then have a lot more information and it's, it's, it's helpful to just kind of guide you towards any courses that you may wish to start with. So that's the learning support call which can be booked um, after you've registered with this. It can then be booked um, through our, our um, administrators that we have. So that's a fairly kind of brief um, overview of our new timetable at Recovery College. Um, so like I said, just, just, just in summary, we have face-to-face -face courses um, delivered in kind of the main areas of Norfolk and Suffolk. And then we have our online courses, which are split into webinars and Zoom. The webinars might be a good place to start for people, but equally the Zoom, you're more than welcome to attend as well. Um, signing up is, is reasonably straightforward. You can go on our website or call us or email us to become registered. After you're registered, you can self-book and you also have the option then to book on a learning support call with one of our tutors who will be able to give you a bit more um, guidance around which courses you may wish to start with. Um, so thank you very much for listening to our 
uh, podcast. I hope that was helpful in regards to our new um, autumn timetable and we very much look forward to seeing you there. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe to make sure you don't miss a future episode. Let us know what you thought of this episode by reaching out on social media. If you haven't already, listen back to previous episodes to hear some of the best mental health advice for you.